Dry pastel as a media has very few downfalls in my opinion, but one of the main issues pastel artists face is the extra dust debris that is left on the paper. This dust is not only annoying and obstructive to your work, but it's also harmful to your lungs. I noticed over time that blowing the pastel dust off my work would slowly start to ruin my artwork. What's worse is that it would also make my lungs wheeze as I unknowingly breathed the dust in. Artworks become ruined when you blow the excess dust due to some of that dust falling over your work, getting replaced to different parts of your art and sticking where it shouldn't be. As you blow the pastel dust around your artwork over and over again, you're actually depositing all kinds of unwanted colours to different parts of your work and they'll start to make your drawing look flat and muddy. More importantly, as you blow the dust, the first thing you're likely to do is intake a deep breath of air to refill your lungs, sucking all of that pastel dust in that you've just blown and disturbed into the air around you. So how do I deal with pastel dust? The short answer is, I carefully hoover it up. At first I used a small handheld hoover and this wasn't the greatest option. As it was small it didn't have a HEPA filter so the dust would just fly straight out the other end and still be breathable. It also didn't pick up everything from the paper as it wasn't powerful enough. I now use a household hoover and the high majority come with a HEPA filter so they are sure to catch all of the fine pastel dust particles. When hoovering up the excess dust you're going to want to have your artwork taped down. Be careful not to hold the nozzle too close to your work as the powerful suction will try to attach itself to your drawing. It may take some practice, but hold the hoover nozzle about 10 centimeters away from your artwork, sort of waving it around all the area covered with dust. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it's helped you out in some way. I would just like to quickly point out that I have many pastel drawing videos now live over on my Patreon channel and I'm adding new videos to it all the time. I mainly draw pet portraits, but I also upload wildlife drawings. I also create human faces as well as scenery paintings in oils and much more. The link for my Patreon channel is in the video description if you would like to check that out.